Oh, you look terrific. No, I didn't expect it to be this way. What way? Well, where is everybody? I expected to have a room full of friends and family. I mean, it's my first time on TV. Where's the celebration? Get used to it, Madonna. This is the way it is. Hey, where are you going? Final sound check. You're gonna be great out there. My name's Madonna Ciccone. I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, where I began my career in petulance and precociousness, much to the dismay of my father. From an early age, I couldn't decide if I wanted to be a nun or a movie star. Nine months of convent school helped me make up my mind. After my mom died, Dad raised me in strict Italian Catholic tradition. I probably wouldn't have turned out this way if I didn't have all those old-fashioned values to rebel against. <laughs> Sister Immaculata, it's so nice to see you on this, the Feast of Our Lady. <laughs> shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. The voice said, cry, and he said, I shall cry. <clears throat> all flesh and humanity shall cry in the goodness of the flowers of the fields. You missed the homily. It was about humility and obedience. Let us pray. <laughs> Dear Father, we are gathered here together to give thanks for all you have given us. Are you okay, honey? In the spirit of Christ, Amen. Let us all rise. one of the hardest decisions of my life. He always gave me his love and support. When I was a kid, he promised me a quarter for every A I brought home. Needless to say, I became rich at a young age. This drove my brothers crazy and they tortured me relentlessly. But dad was always there for me. I was daddy's little girl until he got remarried. Betty is not my mother. This wedding is for the whole family. You want Betty instead of me. No, that's not true. I'm always going to be yours, Noni. It wasn't mine anymore, so I turned to other distractions. In high school, I became slightly schizophrenic. I couldn't choose between class virgin and the other kind. Both had their virtues as far as I was concerned. When I finally lost my virginity, I considered it a career move. My first one. There'd be many more, starting with New York. This is it. This is all you've got? Yeah. Thirty-seven dollars. <laughs> Girl, what if you don't get this little old dance scholarship? Of course I'm gonna get it. This is the craziest thing you've ever done. I'm gonna miss you, girl. A letter! That's it! Look, we better hurry. They're gonna be home from church any minute. Wait. Don't forget to hang up your dress, hon. Uh, oh, oh, there you go. Here we go. Oh, Fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks? 
That's right. But it couldn't have been more than 10 miles. Times Square, lady, center of everything. Hey, that's all I can spare. I have a culinary skills background. Practically have a PhD in donuts, sir. You start tomorrow, don't be late. Thanks. Name? Madonna Ciccone. I'm here to audition for a scholarship. I think Miss Novak is one of the most innovative women working in dance today. You can wait over there. Your number is 32. We'll call you. She's my idol. When I was a student at University of Michigan, her, uh, her troupe came to campus and they performed this really complicated 12-tone Stravinsky piece. Have a seat, young lady. Oh, it's all right, Victoria. Let her finish. All of her dancers were on point, but their bodies were, were twisted into these primitive, angular shapes. I'd never seen anything like it before. The woman's a genius. And you think you're ready for that kind of challenge? I'm ready for anything. I'm Ruth Novak. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am so embarrassed. I look forward to seeing you dance. No, elevations, people. Watch those elevations. Again, please. And four, five, six. Mr. Comey, the essence of movement is in transition, not in position. Hmm? Again, please. And. And. Good. Good. From the top. And. Is a party? Hey, bigger the party, the more donuts you sell, right? Did they teach you that in manager school? I 
I don't normally take tenants on a week to week, but I'm willing to do it for you, sweetheart. That's uh, very kind of you, sir. Of course, you'll have to fork over the cleaning fee up front. I had to pay the crew when they finished here yesterday. No problem. I'll be uh, working double shifts all weekend. I really love the view. <laughs> anyway, you cut it, darling. It's a dump. Now it's your dump. Hey, if you saw where I was living, you'd call this the Ritz. How many times do I have to tell you? One squeeze per donut. Is that such a difficult concept? I was just trying to give our customers their money's worth. Do you know how much it's gonna cost to get this cleaned? We'll deduct it from your paycheck on Friday. You can't do that. I barely had enough money to get my phone turned on and I owe my landlord. In my book, you failed at donuts. You failed at life. This isn't life. This isn't even an excuse for a restaurant. This is a greasy, roach-infested, minimum wage sewer. I may not be smart, Miss Ciccone, and I may not be witty. I'm just the boss. And you're fired. Things can't be all that bad, Mika. Honey, get it. Would you? I gotta get the milk. Okay. Hello. Daddy? Madonna. Where are you? I'm in New York. How could you just run off like that? Daddy, listen. Uh, I knew you'd be worried, so I'm just calling to tell you that everything's okay. <laughs> well, it's about time. It's been three weeks. Daddy, I... I was just trying to make things easier for the both of us. Well, you didn't succeed. How are you doing? Things are going great. Really. I love dance class. I'm uh, meeting lots of people. I'm even going to start auditioning for Broadway shows. <laughs> You're always welcome back here, you know. It's not too late to register for the fall semester. No way. Having way too much fun here. You'd be proud of your little girl. Professor Bennett? My name's Madonna. I called about the ad. I uh, think there's been a mistake. A mistake? Well, the way you described yourself over the phone, uh, I was under the impression. That... I came all the way across town for this. I. I even changed my work schedule to fit you in today. Look, I'm really very sorry. I was looking for someone older, not so boyish. Does this look like a boy to you?
Would you like me over here, Professor? On the sofa? I adore velvet. It's like a second skin. Excellent session. Well done, everybody. Special announcement for next week's session. Thanks. Thursday, 8 o'clock. Don't come here at 7. I will not be here. The doors will be locked. Don't forget to put on the lens cap. You, you did a really wonderful job. Thanks. Uh, look, I, um, I don't normally do this with my models. <laughs> In fact, I've never done it before. Um, what are you doing tonight? I'm busy. I have plans. Does the offer include dinner? That was a great meal. I can't believe that a girl with a name like Madonna Ciccone has never been to Little Italy before. Well, I'm still getting to know the town. Just give me time. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? I want people to get used to seeing my name. <laughs> what? No. You're in a shock value, too. I mean, it's not like you take pictures of old ladies in tall buildings. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So what's the most outrageous thing you've ever photographed? Real breakfast, I'm a great cook. <laughs> I can't. Dance class. Are we gonna see each other again tonight? Well, I don't know. That all depends. What? Well, it can get kind of dangerous mixing business with pleasure. You know, I wouldn't want to jeopardize my new job here. I'm sure we can work something out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. At, say, uh, three times the normal modeling rate? <laughs> I think we have a deal. See you around, Professor. position, Madonna. Land as a figureless sprawl. Feel the nothingness. Don't be afraid of the pain. Again. Get off the floor, Madonna. I can't do it your way. What's wrong with you? Why are you behaving like this? Are you afraid you're not as good as the others? I work harder than anyone in this company. Which is why I took you into this company in the first place. For sheer force of will, not talent. I'm doing my best. You are doing your best to impress me. Concentrate on the work instead. You don't dance to get somewhere, Madonna. You dance for the sheer joy of it. But I want a spot with the National Touring Company. 
You've only been with me for three weeks. Some of my best dancers have been with me for three years, and they are still waiting. Well, I can't do that. Well, then, you'd better consider doing something else. Because quite frankly, young lady, you are wasting my time. Madonna! Want to ride? Salvador. Daddy? I thought you were working. What do you spend your money on? Rent, dance stuff, books, you know. It costs a fortune to live in New York City. It's not like I'm uh, doing drugs or anything. I mean, the phone's only disconnected for a couple of days. It was a week and a half. I know, because I tried to call you every night. You lied to me, Madonna. So what happened? Did you get fired? What if I did? Huh? There are thousands of grunt jobs in this city. Ten years down the line. What happens if this foolish dream of yours doesn't work out? You'll be 30 and with nothing to show for it. That is never gonna happen to me. I try to understand you, Madonna. I really do. But I can't. Listen, I know this is difficult for you. Somehow you think I don't need you, but that's not true. Oh, honey, don't... Don't waste the best years of your life here. Come on home. Go back to college and make a real life for yourself. That's your dream, Daddy, not mine. I can always go back to school. I can do anything I want. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I used to feel the same way. I used to think that life was full of endless possibilities and that everything would always work out just fine. But sometimes it doesn't. The floor will be good for your back. Honest. I miss you, little Donnie. Thanks for coming to visit. Night, Dad. Hey, I'd love it if you'd stick around. Um, I have an audition at 10, and then I thought maybe we could spend the day together. You know, wander down to Little Italy. Betty's expecting me home for dinner. And I've got to get back to work. The ranch, Coney. You know, it's a sin what you charge to live in this roach motel. Who is it, Madonna? Is that one of your neighbors? Yo, Ciccone, aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? Uh, yeah. This is Tony. He's my, uh... Sugar Daddy. Yeah. We'll make it quick, babe. Time is money. <laughs> Here, honey. I want you to take this. No, Daddy. Here. No, come on. No, really, In Daddy. In case of an emergency. I'm okay. Hey, look, I'm gonna ace this audition. They're looking for dancers just like me.
got to be a better way. Open up! Director Cody! You said you'd get the money! And you still owe me for the cleaning fees! Wait, hold on a minute. Uh, I'm naked. So what else is new? You said you'd get the money! The guy paid me in hundreds. So Cody, I bet over backwards for you! I got a key, you know! I'm coming in! Jacoby! Hi there, this is uh, Bennett. Hi, Bennett, where have you been? I've been trying to call you for the past three days. I really need some work. Please leave your name and number and the date you called, and I promise I'll get back. Go, 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 go! Hey! Stop! They got my stuff! Thank God you're just trying to pick me up. I thought you were the food police. Cheese and crackers keep for days. I avoid dips like the plague. They're too messy. Hey, can you imagine buying any of this junk? The uh, artist happens to be a very good friend of mine. Let me guess. Synagogue bells? Ha <laughs> Obviously, you're not Jewish. No. Uh, do you remember gym class? Yeah. I hung these up. It's a great way to stay in shape. Hmm. So, uh, <laughs> how long since this place has been used for services? Ah, well, it was abandoned for years. You're a musician? Yeah. I'm, uh, Forming a band here. Do you sing? Oh no, not really. Just you know, high school musicals, stuff Come like on. that. Come on. Let me hear you sing. No, I wouldn't <laughs> want to bore you. Sing, sing. <laughs> hey, bet you can't catch me. Oh, you're, 
You have an incredible body. <laughs> oh. Ballet class. <laughs> Ballet, oh. Somehow I can't picture you doing Swan Lake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you make love like a man. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, you're very, uh, aggressive. Yeah. Very uninhibited. <sighs> and does that, um, scare you? Threaten you? No. It's an incredible turn on. Oh. <laughs> I always wanted to be a guy. When I was a kid, I was insanely jealous of my brothers. <sighs> they could take off their shirts in the summer. <sighs> and they had so much freedom. And more freedom. <laughs> And you'd be lethal. Hey, don't forget to put the toilet seat down when you're finished. What's with the clothes? Oh. Madonna, meet my brother, Stu. Charmed. I'm sure. I, uh, I didn't know you were entertaining. I left the address plaque upside down, didn't you check? Well, there's been such a, a drought around here, I, I didn't bother. Stu and I share the place, but uh, we have an arrangement. Yeah, I, um, I leave for the night as long as the chick splits in the morning. <laughs> the chick? Stu is just going. Make sure she doesn't steal anything. No, no, no. no way. She's not moving in. Oh, Look, she just needs a place to crash for a couple of days, okay? It's only temporary. It's never temporary with chicks like that. Look, she's got desperation written all over her face. Stu, last night. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Come on, we started the bed sheets, Stu. And afterwards, we just kind of sat around and talked for hours, you know? I mean, I want her to stay. Okay. So you found a chick you can have sex with and talk to at the same time. That's great, but you don't have to live with her. Will you look at her? Hello. She's so... Yay. So what? She's so real. You know, there's none of that game playing stuff. It's just what you see is what you get. Yeah, right. Well, that's exactly what I'm worried about. Okay, look, you've never... You've never... You couldn't be responsible for the family dog, let alone a girlfriend. You've never been the commitment type. Paul? This is different. I'm just trying to save you from a little heartache, bro. Can you give it a break? I need to practice. I've got auditions all day. <sighs> What's in this thing? Cat food? Look, I didn't go to all the trouble to make you breakfast. Hey, you're not my mother. I feel like I'm living in a tenement. You know what? We have a limited amount of room here, okay? We're all doing our best. Yeah, I thought you said this arrangement was temporary. This place ain't big enough for three people. Yeah, he's got a point, Paul. Maybe one of us should move out. Well, at least I'd be able to support myself instead of mooching off my roommates. Hey, you don't know what it's like out there. Hey, hey. Man, I've seen a chorus line, and I remember the song, Tits and Ass. But, you see, the trouble is, if that's true, how come you never get any work? You bastard. Jerk. Hey, okay, come on. Come on, okay? I know things are difficult right now. You're, you're feeling bad. You don't know how I feel. Nobody knows how I feel. Yesterday, while I was doing my routine, the casting director was on the phone with her interior decorator discussing toilet bowl colors. Oh, come on, that's kind of funny when you, when you think about it. Madonna, wait, wait a minute. Madonna, wait. Just... Ah! You know, I don't understand. What just happened here? Paul, she's a woman, all right? They don't come with instructions. Madonna Ciccone. You're late. I came all the way from Queens in the rain. Honey, the producers came all the way from France. They made it on time. We're doing singers now. Sorry. 
All right, don't worry about the dancing. We just want to see how you move. We'll take it from the top of the chorus. Remember, girls, to sing out. All right, play back. Alone. But my love, it's okay. 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 I know you couldn't love me anyway. My heart was bound. Was bound. I'm around like I don't leave on the wind, the wind, oh, the wind, the wind. of change. It's okay. What the heck are okay. you doing? Okay. Okay. I know you couldn't love me anyway. My heart was bound, was bound to break. break. You've taken all of my hopes my home. and dreams. at once. Clear the stage. Now. Okay, everybody, wait backstage. All, except for that one. You, stay. Have you ever been to a professional audition before? Sure. Thousands of them. And this is how you behave yourself. What's your name? Madonna. What about the last name? Just Madonna. That's it. And darling, Everyone has a last name. Would Madonna Madonna suit you better? Madonna will do just fine. Could you excuse us for a moment? Ça sera une vraie vision à spandex. As-tu vu sa façon de bouger? Un animal prédateur, sensuel, féline, j'adore. Mais euh, les petits pas de danse, euh, ringard. Ah, il faut travailler un peu la voix, travail de scène, mais tu penses qu'elle serait intéressée? Elle est affamée. My dear, have you ever been to Paris? Paris? I met these two producers today who are convinced they can turn me into an international disco star. You hate disco. Not to mention the fact that you happen to be a classical dancer. They want to make me a singer. A singer? Yeah. A singer? You don't know anything about singing. You know you have no professional training. They're going to give me a vocal coach. They think I'm good. Really? Oh, come on, Madonna, these people are frauds, you know? God knows what else they've got in mind. Not to mention the fact that, that, that you can't leave. What about us? They said I'd have total artistic freedom. Hey, what about us? If I stayed, I'd be miserable. You'd hate me. It would never work out. Wait, 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 wait! wait. You know, if you, you don't feel anything for me, at least have the guts to say it to my face. You're one of the kindest people I've ever met, Paul. And I hate doing this to you. But I have to. And if that makes me a bitch, then I'm sorry. You are a bitch. And sorry is not good enough. This. You look beautiful. And why Donna Summer? Opening night jeeps are good. This isn't opening night, Pierre. This is a freak show. There are nothing but goons out there. Middle-aged makers who don't have a clue what's really happening on the music scene. Those goons expect nothing less than the second coming tonight. For the past two months, we've been spending a small fortune promoting you. You will not disappoint them. Why don't you just let me do the show my way? The opening is so cliché. Cliché? They love cliché. They understand cliché. Don't you even think about changing a single step? You begin on stage. 
seen to a single spotlight, as if it were the soul of your lost lover, exactly as Donna Summer would. I am not Donna Summer. Five minutes, Madonna. You look wonderful. Hiver. Bonsoir. Je tiens à vous remercier de votre présence ici ce soir et je tiens également à vous remercier pour votre patience. Mesdames, Mesdemoiselles, Messieurs, nous sommes très fiers de vous présenter ce soir la nouvelle diva du disco, Madonna Et alors, où est-elle Il n'y a personne, voyons. Où est Richie What's going on well, Did you get back from Paris? About two hours ago. The whole trip was a bust. I thought they promised you the moon and the stars here. Look, I, I don't want to talk about Paris. I don't want to talk about anything but you and me and the band. Uh -huh. Well, uh, Stu and I finally got it together. Uh -huh. And we, we hired a lead vocalist. She's going to be good. A girl? Stu's idea, huh? <coughs> Are you okay? I have the flu. Well, let's go inside. I'm freezing. Wait, 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 wait a minute. You can't, you can't just waltz back in here like, like nothing happened. Come on, we won't make the same mistakes. We did everything too fast. I really liked you, Madonna. You know what I mean? I thought we had something going, and you walked out on me. You walked out. Okay, okay. So I do incredibly stupid things sometimes. I know that. I really screwed up this time. I'm sorry. I, just, I... I won't do that to myself again. I'm not looking for a place to crash for a couple of nights. I want us back together. I don't know. Wow. I want to make love to you. Right? 
right now. Madonna, no, there's, there's I, I have 103 fever, okay? It, it's pouring rain out here. I'm soaking wet. I'm gonna miss me. <laughs> Are you, uh, you're playing now? No, not really. I just... No, 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 go ahead and play. No, it's okay. I see. We can only do things we know we do well. Huh? <clears throat> Come here. You take the pick. You work this end. All right. And I'm gonna play the chords up here. Okay. Okay, give me this. Good. Well, it's way too hot for cooling down. Moving too fast now to turn it around. To turn it around. Cause it's real, so real. There ain't no maybe about the way I feel. Cause it's real. It's real, so real. So real. Tonight. Hey, that's good. Just again. Cause it's real, real. so real. real. There ain't no maybe about the way I feel It's real, so real, tonight Whoa! Hey, you got a very nice voice. Look at you. You know, the great thing about music, like being in a band, is that you can go from obscurity to stardom practically overnight. I mean, that never mm. happens to dancers. <laughs> never. Oh, uh, wait a minute, Madonna. I know what you're doing. No, no, no. No way! No. Listen, one girl in the band's enough, okay? Oh. You know, yeah, Stu would never go for oh. it. Yeah, yeah. Please Not you know what? Oh, God. Okay, okay. Just, just try to keep up with this and, and, and listen to the beat, you know? And, and sing out. Okay. Like this. Okay, okay. I got it. Thanks. Stu. Everybody, I want to talk to you about Friday, okay? We have to be at the Silver Dollar Club by nine, okay? Nine. I have this recurring nightmare where I show up at the club and start singing and nothing comes out. That makes me queasy just talking about it. Look, stage fright is nothing to be worried about, Kelsey, okay? We'll do some deep breathing exercises. You're gonna be fine, Kelsey. Okay. Oh, month we have been doing this and she still cannot read the music. She'll pull through, don't worry. Hey, do you want me to work with her tomorrow? We could work on some stage presence, you know, do some vocal warm-ups. Could you get her to quit doing that flippy hair thing? It's driving me nuts. It's just her nerves. Don't worry. All right. I'll take care of Kelsey. Can you do more of that hair tossing stuff on stage? Like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guys really love it when you do that, especially Paul. <laughs> and that outfit you're working on is going to be a real knockout. <laughs> it's getting kind of late. I thought we were going to rehearse. What's there to work on? Paul's just being neurotic. Besides, too much technique will ruin your style. We'll just let him think that we practice for hours. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be our little secret. That's right. We <laughs> girls have to stick together. <laughs> Good evening. Good the breakfast. Okay. Donna! Okay. No way. 
No way a woman of mine is going out there looking like a piece of meat. Look, this belly button is going to make us a fortune. Just stick with me. Weren't you about that, Paul? Shut up, Stu. Sick and tired of you second guessing me, too. What is with you two? We were a team out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were a team. We were a team of one. You pull that crap again, you're out. I saved you guys tonight. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Stick to self promotion. That's what you do best. I can't believe you two. And I can't believe I just spent three months of my life working two jobs so you get to stay home all day and work on your music. I told you, Paul, she's nothing but a self centered. I will handle it, Stu. You will not handle this. You couldn't see the train wreck coming months ago. Yeah, well, at least I put myself out there. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. She is. Back off. Stop it. You're both just jealous because I have something you'll never have charisma. Oh, no, 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 sweetheart. Don't, don't confuse charisma with, with chutzpah. Yeah, anybody can go out there and shake their butt and get a bunch of drunks to scream for more. No, I made your band a success tonight. Admit it. The success? We were a charade, Madonna! I was ashamed to be out there with you tonight. That's, that's, that's Madonna! So, where are you gonna go now, huh? You've done Paris, you've done Detroit. New York must seem pretty dull to you by now, huh? Do you know what you are? Naked ambition with no talent to back it up. So you wanna go? Go. Go, go ahead, get out! Paradox of management, Brad. Yeah, yeah, whoa. And if you do it really, really well, then eventually do yourself out of a job. Which begs the question, what are we doing this for anyway? <laughs> You'll be opening doors for me someday. Ugh, too many bills and not enough royalty checks. Where's the justice, Brad? I want you to listen to this. Spare me, I haven't even had my caffeine fix yet. Come on, she isn't that bad. Hmm, like Minnie Mouse on helium. Wait a minute, stop. Let me hear that. Now that's interesting. Who is she? I don't know. Somebody take the cassette to my front windshield. I think we should find her. Okay, get her in here. But five minutes, that's all she's got. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm gonna tell everybody you're a cheapskate. I, I gotta call you back. So I hear you like my tape? That was you? Brad says I only have five minutes, but I don't need that long. I'm performing tonight at Lee's Palace, nine o'clock. 
You gotta see me live to get the whole picture. I love Szechuan. Bye, Brad. She took my lunch. What the hell is wrong with you? I told you nine o'clock. How could you do this? This is my life. Look, we got hung up at the office and the traffic was a mess. Hey, I don't have to explain myself to you. I mean, who do you think you are anyway? Come on, Brad, we're out of here. I like your energy, Camille. You're lucky I'm doing another set. Now, sit down and enjoy the show. vocal cords up there. Have you ever had any voice training? Yeah, I've been doing this gig five days a week. Yeah, just what I thought. Uh, Ms. Ciccone would like some tea. This is a bar, sweetheart. All I can do is a beer. The lady would like some tea. Preferably herbal with lemon. And it's Ms. Barboni, not sweetheart. So what did you think of the show? All of the songs are new. I'm writing most of my own stuff now. First of all, you've got to start taking better care of your voice for Kiss It Goodbye. And from now on, you drink tea with honey before every performance, tea with lemon afterwards. And you got to lose this house band crap. You need real studio musicians behind you. That'd be five dollars, Miss Barbone. Hey, you should consider yourself lucky to have Miss Ciccone performing in this armpit. Yeah. Go away. We're talking business. Tea with lemon. There's a broken skylight in the hallway. That's code violation. I have a cousin who works in the mayor's office. I'll give you 65, no security deposit. The longer you stall, the lower the price goes. You can tell your cousin and the mayor to kiss off. It's 90 bucks and I got three people in the lobby waiting to rent it. Okay, so maybe he wasn't a cousin. Hmm. No loud parties, no dope smoking, and no pets. Ms. Ciccone is preparing for the nunnery, Mr. Estes. I'm going to pay you a weekly salary of $100, and in return, you'll work full-time in my building. You start Monday morning as a maid. A what? Is this what you've been doing all day? You got some great books here. Hmm. Well, you're welcome to read any of them, but not until after you finish your cleaning, okay? Hey, it's Friday night. Time to boogie. <laughs> Let's go out. Come on, it'll be fun. This is what I do with my free time, Madonna. Peace and quiet. I don't need anybody to entertain me. Hey, you can go now. You're off the clock. I'll finish the cleaning. Just have a good weekend. So where are you headed tonight? I don't know. Probably some clubs. The is great. I've been there in ages. Uh, listen, um, I'm just gonna order a pizza for dinner. You feel like sticking around? But the kind of music I want to write has a funky street sound. You know, black music, like they play in the clubs. Street music is lunch money, Madonna. I can make you rich. Look, I want you to write Pat Benatar kind of songs, you know, commercial rock. We record a demo, get your name out there. Look, Brad and I have come up with a short list of people we'd like to use in the band. Nothing but the best. I have a drummer friend, Tom Hiller. We're using professionals, Madonna, not friends. But he's arriving from Detroit tomorrow, and he's incredibly talented, Camille. He's one of the first guys I ever dated. Mm, mm-hmm. 
And would you by any chance be sleeping with him? Of course not. It's totally platonic. What? You think I sleep with every guy I know? I had to pull a lot of strings to make this happen, but he is worth every penny. Camille, we need to talk. Tom is a phenomenal drummer. He's been doing the European circuit for over a year. In fact, he just flew in from Paris. You said Detroit. Come on, Camille. There will be no sleeping with the band. And if I find any of these guys messing around with you, they will be fired on the spot. Now, I am paying for this gig, and that means that everybody plays by my rules. You got it? Robbie, you played I, with him. How could you forget him? Yeah, it's a short clean weirdness. Sure. <laughs> Did you catch the game last night? Okay, let's rehearse, shall we? That's <laughs> who else? I can't hear myself think with you banging away like that. I am not banging away. One, two, three, four. Are you trying to mess with me or what? I can't concentrate. Hey. Back off. What's wrong with you today, Flynn? Your rhythm's all off. You certainly didn't have any complaints last night. Flynn, my office, now. to the wise gentlemen, if you want to keep your jobs, keep your eyes on the music, your mouths on the microphone, and your trousers zipped. I'll be in my office. Hopefully I can find a new drummer before the end of the day. No need. <whistles> you gotta hear him play, Camille. He's brilliant. No way. Show her, Tom. to find new digs or he's history. And don't you ever do this to me again. Donna? What's wrong? I don't know. I'm all swollen. My wisdom teeth. Just, just settle down. Um, they're, they're probably infected. I'm scared. I'm on my way over. I'm... I'll call my dentist and, and have him meet us over at his office. I'm scared, Camille. It's okay. Hey, I'm coming. Just take it easy. You're at my place now. Mm -hmm. The anesthesia will wear off soon. I was a little girl, and I was sick. <laughs> My mom used to make 
toast and tea for me. <laughs> Just like you, but without the toast. <laughs> Shh. You're not supposed to talk. I'll get some ice. No, don't go. I, I miss my mom. What happened to your mother, Madonna? You never talk about her. When you coming home, it's gonna be a little while, honey. In the meantime, I want you to take care of your brothers and your father. And I want you to remember that you're my namesake. And that makes you very, very special. I want you to stop being this way. I want you to play with me. Now, honey, come on. I think we should go for a walk. Come on, boys. I want to talk to your father for a few minutes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love you. As if you not. Pretty amazing. Amazing. It's beyond amazing. Yeah, you really believe in me, don't you? You know, I've been at this game a long time now, and I have never seen anybody take over a stage the way you did last night. You know, this is my shot too, Madonna. Just like you, I've got everything riding on it. You've made a lot of sacrifices to get this far, haven't you? Oh, you bet. I put everything into my company. But what really makes this great is that we're friends. You know? I mean, this goes way beyond the business thing. And I swear to you, this is all going to happen. We are going to conquer the world. And we're going to do it together. Peter, are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. 
You know, if he wasn't your cousin, you'd have to pay him big bucks for this. It's okay. It's a work-study thing for school. I'm getting credit. All right, I want you both to plaster these all over the village. We're gonna pack this place. Can't we pay someone to do it, Camille? I've been on my feet all day. Yeah, well, you'll get the star treatment once you start pulling in the star salary. Now, come on, take the dogs with you. They need to go for a walk. You two. One. <laughs> Still up to your old tricks, eh? This is, uh, certainly a career change. It's just a part-time thing. I finally got my band again. Really? Yeah. Oh, hey, that's great. That's great. Yeah, it's still in me, too. You know, getting tons of bookings, you know, suddenly, boom, we're a hit. <laughs> well, listen, uh, we should uh, get together some night, you know? Uh, catch up. To pass me on. You know, I, I'm seeing somebody now. Great, you deserve to be happy and calm. Well, listen, I, I gotta go and meeting her parents for the first time tonight. You know how that can be. Yeah, I gotta keep moving. These guys get pretty restless. Hey. Call me. Sometime. I Peter, get out of here. We were just getting to the good part. Out! He's only 16. I was bored. What is wrong with you? Look, we're just having fun, okay? Yo, how is he supposed to feel when you blow him off for somebody else? I ran into an old boyfriend today, okay? Is that a better answer? There I was in my best toilet cleaning outfit, walking those yappy little mutts of yours, trying to act like a serious musician while he goes on and on about his new life and his new girlfriend. It was humiliating, Camille. Where's my tea? Get it yourself. Yeah, what is it? Well, I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed your show tonight. Thanks, you're a great audience. Well, I'm in the industry, and I saw you perform last year at the Silver Dollar. I have to admit, I do miss some of that old rock and roll you used to do. Yeah, well, we went in a different direction. Yeah. More commercial stuff. I don't understand why you're still playing these dives. You should be doing the bigger houses. Getting more PR. Yeah? And I suppose you're just the guy to do it. I just think you're selling yourself a little short. That's all. I gotta run. Stay in touch. Excuse me, what are you talking about? When I signed with you, you said that things would happen. Things are happening. You're getting a lot of attention. But I'm tired of all these pop tunes we keep doing. I miss my old songs, the funky stuff. Record execs don't like funky, especially coming from a white girl. I know what's best for you right now. So when am I going to start playing bigger clubs? You're not ready. I'm not ready or you don't have the clout to book me into bigger houses. What is with you today? Are you still upset about running into Paul? Because don't rag on me. You promised me that we would have a record deal by now and all we do is sit around here trying to make this demo tape perfect. This is your calling card. This is what's going to sell you. Look, I know what I'm doing. Just stick with the plan. Your plan could take forever. Later. Madonna. Madonna.
I hear he's really plugged into all the record people. Especially over at Warner's. He's got a couple club acts getting label deals over there. Yeah? surgery. He's flattened his back. Mm, just like I like my men. Look, like Madonna. If we're gonna work together, this is no way to start out. You're saying you want to help me? We got one small problem to deal with first. You already have a manager, and I don't work with managers. Anything I set up, I come attached as producer. That's not a negotiable item with me, okay? Again. We got it. I don't like the way it sounds. I want to do it again. Not in overtime, honey. We'll do it tomorrow. All right, so we got to take four. I'm tired of waiting until tomorrow, Camille. I'm tired of all the excuses. Pardon me? I can't rely on you anymore. I have put everything on the line for you, Madonna. What more do you want? We've gone as far as we can together. Okay, look, if this is about the kind of music you want to do, then why don't we sit down and talk about it? Because if you feel that strongly... We are past the talking stage, Camille. My company is almost bankrupt from promoting you. So don't you think for a second that you're going to just walk out that door. Watch me. You are great! Where do you think you're going? You always have to be the one who walks first. What are you talking about? Oh, no, if anybody gets too close to you, you have to break it up because, God forbid, maybe they'll find out what really makes you tick. No, this isn't about me, Camille. This is about business, and you can't give me what I want anymore. Well, then introduce me to somebody who can. I take what I need, and I move on. And if people can't move with me, well, then I'm sorry. How can you be so cold? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm out of here. Did this all start when your mother died? Hmm? I mean, were you so beat up that you just decided to stop feeling anything? You're still under contract. You march out of here now and you leave with nothing. No source of income, no way to pay the band, no rent subsidy, nothing. Must be Madonna. You're looking very healthy today, Jerome. It's Mr. Kirkland, young lady. And I feel like hell. 
I hear your music's a big hit at the clubs. Yeah, it's getting played all over town at uh, Danceteria, Lucky Star. Studio 54. Studio 54. You think the people in Iowa give a damn about what they're playing at Studio 54? Come over here. You need to see her perform live, Mr. Kirkland. She's amazing. You put the whole act together, you have one hell of a music video for MTV. That's all the kids down at the office talk about these days. Video this, video that. What do I know of MTV? I don't even like TV. Anyway, it's a man's world over there. Springsteen, the police, how do you expect to compete with that? By not trying to be one of the boys. You better make us a whole lot of money, honey. Let me do what I do best and I'll make you a fortune. No! Just don't kill me first. You hey. are sorry. Uh. Where's my face? Am I so hideously ugly that Kirkland was ashamed to put my face on the cover? How could you make a decision like that and not tell me? Calm down. It wasn't my decision. The problem is you sound black on the radio. So? That's a compliment. What does that have to do with the picture? The record company doesn't want to confuse people. So until you've got a hit, they don't want to advertise the fact that you're white. Look, Mitch, I have been with this label for nine months. And I've worked my ass off to get my face out there, and I want people to know it's me. Look, I promise. I'll get your face, your attitude, and all your body parts on the next cover. But until then, what do you want to work on? This. It's called Like a Virgin. It was written a few years ago as a ballad. This is not a joke. I want a song that's going to put me over the top. Get used to it, Madonna. This is the way it is. You're my namesake. Yeah, I've been thinking about you all day, too. Do you think Mom would be proud of me tonight? I know she would. Madonna, you're going to be OK. I got to go, Daddy. I miss you, little Noni. Wish me luck, OK?